up welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be like a little different just a little random basically it's going to be like a mom vlog i don't know how this video is going to be but i am standing currently in my child's room my daughter's room she is almost two years old um we have three more months to go then she's two okay so she's a little active toddler and i need to clean up her room a little bit not that it's bad or messy or anything but the main focus of today is cleaning up her closet i'm gonna show you guys in a second like she has so much stuff it's not even like and she grows out of stuff every two weeks three weeks like at least every month i need to buy something new for her she is growing like crazy and i think all kids do um any moms out there i know you can relate okay <laughs> so i bought some new clothes for her today from h and i'm going to show you guys all of that like a little bit further in the video i have so many clothes that i need to fold that i just washed then i have her whole closet to clean up uh, it's just a lot so i figured like let me take my vlogging camera and show you guys what i'm doing currently because you know all about relatable authentic vlog content um so yeah let's do this so this is just a quick overview on how things are looking currently um it's not bad as i said like it's just a little messy disorganized but isn't every room in the house like this okay so um this is amari's room as you can see there a huge pile of clothes that i need to fold that i just washed her crib her nursery table some closet storage and some more closet space and honestly like i cannot even close <laughs> this drawer anymore it's just packed with stuff and like every morning i'm like searching through stuff because most of these things don't fit anymore so yeah that's why everything's just like all over the place and just stuffed in the drawer like this <laughs> and then here the same thing all her pants and if i open the doors this is not as bad but it can be better especially her sock drawer <laughs> her all over the place drawer like what is this doing here i don't know girl so that's what we're doing today cleaning up all of this stuff i want to be more organized and yeah there's just random stuff in here like a mosquito catcher um my pumping material from when i was pregnant uh, pregnant no what am i saying <laughs> when i was pumping exclusively for amari when she was in nicu some shoe boxes like girl mm -mm. here are some more clothes her body still all over the place most of this doesn't fit her anymore oh no what did i do what this is the first time that this is happening like, this has never happened before and it has to happen now that i'm filming a video oh, what is going on anyways <laughs> um and here are just some bed covers some towels some hand towels all that kind of stuff her wipes some more cloths and then here is supposed to be her diapers but I'm gonna do that later. Here we have her little crib. And then here, just some stuff I need to fold and uh Yeah, let's just begin, okay? Shall we? <laughs> oh yeah, didn't show you guys this side. This is her little tent. She sits in here sometimes and she reads books. Okay, she pretends to read books, right? And then here are her shoes. Some of them are super cute. Okay, so I'm not really for expensive shoes for kids because honestly, girl, <laughs> they wear this for like four times and then they're too small. Okay, but these were like all gifts. She has more, but not here. Um, so these were gifts. These were gifts. Girl, honestly, I buy, buy stuff like this. Stuff that is super comfortable, easy to get in and out of. And this when we're going on a walk in the woods. In the forest as you can see it's a little dirty um she can comfortably play in this and this was hers in the summer this was a gift as well super expensive i never 
never would have bought this with my own money sis like <laughs> but you know as a gift that's super sweet and super cute honestly i'm not the type of mom that buys expensive stuff for my kid because first of all they grow out of stuff so easily so for me it feels like a waste of money only her dad likes to spoil her with like designer items which is like fine you're like if you really want to do that like that's fine for me but me personally i'm not gonna buy like expensive stuff like if it costs more than 30 euros for a piece of clothing for my child i'm not doing it it's, except for shoes maybe and um a jacket for winter something like that but if it's just for like a body or a t-shirt or a pants hell no <sighs> i'd rather buy like five bodies for like 15 euros or 15 dollars something like that instead of one body is 10 euros or 20 euros just because it's from a high fashion brand or anything for example you know she had some nike bodies or from adidas or anything like super cute super sporty which is fine like it's cute for the beginning um in the beginning i bought some stuff like that but honestly they just puke shit and pee all over it so what's the point even if you do buy some nice stuff it gets dirty anyways at the end of the day with food with drinks uh you name it okay it gets dirty so that's why i'm like you know let me not, <laughs> not spend too much money on taller clothes like expensive toddler clothes and when she's older she can wear like a little bit more nicer stuff not, i'm not gonna say nicer stuff but if i see something expensive and i like it then i'm probably going to buy it if i really like it but i'm not going to buy expensive basic stuff such as you know pants or anything like girl that doesn't need to be expensive hell no you know the most expensive clothes i have from her are from zara and maybe h&m H&M is still okay some stuff is like a little expensive for toddlers but uh, Zara is the most expensive stuff that I personally bought for her <laughs> okay um yeah She wanna know me, I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby, let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Cause you riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. closet and organizing the closet i'm gonna show you guys in a second what the end result looks like but these are literally all the clothes <laughs> that are too small okay some of these have been sitting around in her closet for months okay so this is not just from past month or anything some of these are really really old and really small um because it's been a while since i've done this but as you can see it's a lot oh my gosh 
And what I do with all my clothes is actually store them. I save them because you never know, okay? Or give them away to family members. And um, if not, I just give them away to a good cause. I'm going to store these away. And then I'm going to vacuum clean her room because it's getting dusty in here. And Pablo joins me. Okay, he found his spot again. Ah, oh, Pablo. He always trying to sit in this couch. Always, always. I try to keep him away from her room, but he always finds a little spot like on the top of her closet or here in her sofa. Oh, Pablo. You have something to say to the people? Pablo, you have something to say to the people? Or are you just lazy today? Such a lazy baby. You're so fluffy. because he don't want to get out of the chair man like i'm just sitting here like look he's taking up all the place and i'm just sitting on a little corner right here all you can relate if you have a pet you rather just struggle and suffer and sit on the edge of the couch on the edge of your bed instead of just pushing your pet away <laughs> And you just rather let him or her sleep in peace. Okay, so anyway, so I have a few clothes that I bought on H&M online the other day. They just arrived. So I figured, you know, let me show you guys real quick what I bought for her for fall slash winter. First, I have these little boots for her. These are nice and warm inside. Super cute. They are still like a size too big like most of the clothes are a tad bit too big but that's good for her you know some of these will fit right away but some of these are going to last until december january like yeah definitely until january so yeah that's good um i most of the times if i buy clothes i buy them a size larger like a size too big because i want them to fit for a while <laughs> i never buy clothes in her current uh, size Never, okay? I'm that type of mom. Next up, I have a little sweater for her with a little bunny. And then I have a two-piece set. It's just this beige brown sweater with a, with a legging. This is nice and warm um, and it's stretchy. It's still too big, definitely, I can tell. So she will fit in this maybe in December. Which is great because now she has clothes that fit perfectly, right? So when those in the closet currently don't fit, she will fit in all of these. Then this is a sweater dress. This is like a breakfast themed sweater dress. Super cute. Then I have another sweater dress. With smiley hearts on it. Then I have this little dress as well. I love this color, especially for the holidays. And the fabric is nice and soft as well. And then this was a two-pack legging. I love this color. I love like beige neutral colors on her or um, like pastel colors. It's nice and stretchy. It's nice and sturdy, I can tell. And this is the second legging in a nice salmon color. Like, I don't know, for the basics, H&M is definitely one of my go-to. Okay, so then I have another two-pack, just like cotton sweaters, nothing too special. This is just like basic, you know, off-white and a brownish color. And I have two ties, super cute mint color. I don't know if you can see on camera. It has this super cute detail. And then this one as well in brown. And then I have three pairs of jeans. This was a three pack and it was 30 euros. So 10 euro per jeans. And they are stretchy a little bit. 
just a little bit. So it comes in three different colors. And last but not least, an extra jacket. She has a jacket, but this is just an extra jacket for if the main jacket is dirty or is lost or whatever, then I will let her wear this one. It's a Hello Kitty jacket. Um, it's nice and warm, but it's not the warmest, okay? So that's why it's like my second option if something happens with her main jacket. All right, so that was it. That was just like a mini <laughs> a haul what I got from H&M for the baby. Oh, okay, she's not a baby anymore. For Amari. You know, I don't really let her wear the typical all oh, pink everything clothes because I'm not that type of mom. Um, you know, someone asked me the other day on a picture of her when I posted like a picture of us on Instagram and someone asked her like, are you raising her non-binary? Which means like, are you raising her like gender neutral? Like I'm raising her not as a girl and not as a boy and she gets to figure out what she wants to be later when she grows up. That's that's not how I'm raising her. Like if you're raising her like that, like that's your thing, but that's definitely not my thing. I'm raising her as a girl, okay? It's not because she's wearing a jeans and a brown sweater that she's like gender neutral. Like girls wear brown and jeans as well. Like I wear those type of colors as well. So I really didn't understand that type of comment. So this is her room right now. It's looking so much better, right? It's looking so much better, especially the closet space, the drawers. Here are her PJs and here are her bodies. And then the second drawer is empty because I don't know what's going on, but this stuff is broken. So I'm still going to figure out what I'm going to do here. <laughs> okay. And here are just some bed covers and her towels. She has like her own towels. I keep them here and here are just some extra cloths you know these are multi-purpose you can pretty much use these for everything here is her changing table and you know this has been pretty much the same since she was born i have just a little bucket with wipes and diapers and the necessities such as lotion baby powder all that kind of stuff it looks so much neater the stuff that is hanging here are just like I don't know, maybe warmer piece of clothing, like jackets, onesies, um, track suits. Another track suits, these were gifts, by the way. <laughs> um, and dresses that are too long, too fold. Here's just some random stuff that I still want to save. And then her little drawer here is for her socks, ties, swimwear, um, and hair accessories, such as these ones. <laughs> this is Kente, African fabric. Super cute, by the way. You can go over to this drawer where all her sweaters are and her long sleeve t-shirts. These are the bigger ones and these are the ones that fit now, which is perfect. Just a few, you know, I, I don't wanna pack my closet with too much stuff. And the same goes for here. Here's the stuff that fits now. And here's the stuff that will definitely fit later. So yeah, that was it guys. This was just my quick random organizing, the closet organizing video. Um, I hope I inspired you guys to clean up your kid's closet, okay? Don't be like me and pile up all these clothes for all these months. So I'm going to pick up Amari from daycare now. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.